You have to go back to 1968 for the Reds' only other appearance in the competition, Estudiantes of Argentina, and a football match that developed into something more akin to a battle. It was the European Cup winning side of Best, Charlton and Nobby Styles. The Argentinians had developed a simple plan to combat the threat. It largely revolved around intimidation and stopping them playing at any cost. First time I touched the ball, somebody kicked me. Uh, I wouldn't like to really kick me, but... It and hurt. after that, yeah, you, you just sort of... You were playing for nothing you know, every time you held the ball. And the, even when the ball wasn't there, I mean, they... Nobby Styles, you know, was just, they stuck a nut on him, punched him, even when he was nowhere near the ball. That was something else. That was so, you, the stuff, you, you couldn't see what was going on in that game. The sad thing about the uh, Estudiantes and Argentina, if they'd have concentrated on just playing, they would have had a hell of a job, you know. But there, it was, so much was going on off the ball was unbelievable, you know. I mean, that night, I had to I had to go off to the side of the pitch and get, adjust my contact lens, you know, whatever. I'd been I'd been nutted to about three times off the ball. They hated Nobby. <laughs> Nobby, I remember when Nobby got off the plane. The, the whole, I mean, there was so many TV and press people there, and all they wanted to see were, where the assassin was. And when they saw Nobby come off the plane, they couldn't believe it because <laughs> he, he's the most unlikeliest looking assassin you'd ever see off the pitch. Do you remember being announced though as uh, El Don Abistilo as El Bandido? <laughs> I laughed at that myself. <laughs> the second leg was scheduled for a month later. By this time, the Estudiantes players were being treated as heroes in their own country. At the airport in Buenos Aires, they were given a presidential style send off. The brutal nature of the first encounter had fired the public imagination. The Argentinians knew they were in for a rough night in England. It was their turn to feel the heat. We, we, want, we want to see football. We don't want to see animals like they are. We want to see good football. They play it like savages, don't they? they? They play it like somebody who's just learning how to play. Not, you know, not people who are supposed to know how it's played. There's a lot of dirty mares, to tell you the truth. <laughs> they want banning from football, all Argentinians. Good evening, this is Hugh Johns welcoming you to Old Trafford, Manchester, where the traditional Manchester weather, rain, doesn't seem to be dampening the enthusiasm of a vast crowd who've come to see the unofficial club championship of the world settled here. Kidnow. Almanac pushing that one dangerously back into the middle. Chance here for Cruden. What a fine shot. The exciting sort of thing the Stretford end want to see. Similar situation as this, it was a corner, but a similar situation gave his Estudiantes their goal in Buenos Aires. And that's Vero! Oh dear! For United, number 11, Vero the Witch. 1-0 to Estudiantes, and only five minutes of the game gone. Kid moving fast away from him. Kid brought down by Pachami and Rickless, me, Kid and Medina tangling together. Medina flat on his back on the ground. We shall be able to judge in a few moments whether the performance equals the brilliance of his acting or whether the injury was as serious as it appeared or he appeared to make it look. Morgan and that Georgie Best that was just over the bar incredible split second piece of timing very nearly dragging back an equalizing goal Madero now with the free kick aiming for Veron Veron then and Preren and referee's book coming straight out. Veron's boot catching Creran in the groin. And referee Zetchevich most certainly taking his book out as Pat Creran is down there injured. And, and that was best. 
Lopez and number 17 Medina an incident off the ball over to the right referee linesman Conchetto Lovello over there with his flag George Best there was the man involved in the incident the Manchester United player it looks very much as though George Best has been sent off and they're sending off well now this is difficult to tell whether certainly Best seems to have been sent off George Best is off the field looking as though he's been sent off and there it is that's one back for number seven Willie Morgan well it's 1-1 now Willie Morgan has leveled the score here tonight Fair and again sending them forward sending United forward Willie Morgan and it's all over it's all over the whistle's gone the whistle's gone the whistle has gone United Manchester United have lost it one nothing incredible scenes on the pitch now as supporters of Estudiantes come on to the field the reserve players the manager the te technical staff all on there delightedly they win the unofficial world club championship